meanwhile, uh, C-SPAN has this uh, program. It's a series called The Road to the White House. Have you ever watched this? You've come across it, obviously. Oh, yeah, I know. I watch it all the time. Well, did you see the uh, the other candidates uh, who were speaking? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> there's, a, there's a slew of them. <laughs> yes. Well, there was. A, they can't even get any. Well, well no, they had, no, was, they had no. They had a whole hour, a whole hour, where the uh, there was actually some serious people asking serious questions, uh, serious candidate questions, and the farce of it is um, that the, the the people asking the questions are real political analysts they're in the parties and they and they actually go into the, the into the the programs by the these uh, alternative candidates although the one I'm going to play for you uh, is a democrat and he wants to get on the on the on the ballot I guess I'm not quite sure how it works um and the guy uh well I I'll tell you what he's what he looks like after you listen to this little Q and A. Uh, this is not the first time you have run for president in the Correct. New Hampshire primary, um, and uh, President Romney has been accused. And I'm not taking a position. Why? By the way, notice the guy says President Romney. Romney. But he says president. He says president. That's what he said he's, exactly. Yes. He says President Romney, which is interesting because this is one of the guys. Who, so probably he's already this guy. The fix is in on him, but it doesn't matter because that's not the humor of the clip. Yeah, um, well, that's and, our book anyway. Yeah. And uh, President <coughs> Romney has been accused, and I'm not Romney. taking a position one way or the other of taking different positions on different issues. Um, I'm uh, asking you right now: Are do you still stand by your pledge made in 2008 to provide a pony for every American? <laughs> yes, I do, sir. Free ponies for all Americans, one of the <laughs> overlooked issues. This guy, Vermin Supreme, is wearing a boot on his head. I kid you not, a boot upside down on his head. And his platform is a free pony for everybody. In America today. My free pony platform is, of course, a jobs creation program. It will create lots and lots of jobs. Once we uh, switch over to a pony-based economy, we'll also <laughs> lower our uh, dependence on foreign oil. We'll also be able to uh, turn all that pony poop into <laughs> methane gas and wonderful compost, so we'll be able to uh, re-up uh, our soil that is being depleted by uh, agrochemicals, etc., etc., etc. And, of course, the important thing to realize is that it is a federal pony identification <laughs> program where you will need your pony with you at all times. Thank you very much. You, so, so tell me, John, I mean, obviously the, the guy, I mean, he's, he's not insane because he's doing this for a reason. Is this to, to show how ridiculous everything is or what do you think it is? I think it's a, I, well, yeah, I mean, this is a satire. So he's, it's, it's the mock. He actually has a really good idea. Which is well, the ponies, a, pony poop. Well, he um, he follows up on his pony platform with a, a brilliant energy independence plan. Uh, but first, of course, we have to have a serious uh, question to follow up on the pony platform. Uh, Beth, your next question is for Mr. Supreme. Mr. Supreme, I wanted to follow up on Ambassador Shoemaker's question. <laughs> Actually, an ambassador who asked that question. That's great. Yes. Regarding <laughs> the ponies. Um, yes. <laughs> is that... The only government entitlement program that you support. What other entitlement programs are you for? Just that one. That's that's enough. But I, in, the, in the vein of uh, energy production, I'd also like to address my uh, harnessing the awesome power of zombies uh, for energy sources. It's not just uh, to run away from anymore. No, we have giant turbines that we're working on, and we will have lots of zombies, and we'll just sort of dangle brains in front of them, and then they will turn the giant turbines, creating energy to uh, lessen the dependence on foreign oil in America here today. <laughs> God bless America. I love that idea. Vermin Supreme. <laughs> Vermin Supreme. The guy's awesome. Yeah, I Democrat mean, from New Hampshire. Could, I see his picture now. I mean, it's either that guy or it's... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd rather have the zombie guy. <laughs>